difficult to unpick. And perhaps that's what makes them so fascinating, in that there is so much intrigue surrounding their vague presence in the Bible. While the Bible is full of ambiguity with some of its characters, there is perhaps no one more ambiguous than the archangel, Ernest Michael. Yet despite his minuscule presence in the Bible, Archangel Michael has cultivated a massive devotion for not only those from the Christian faith, but also the Jewish and Islamic faiths as well, given that Archangel Michael appears across all three religious texts in some capacity. However, there are those that would believe that Archangel Michael's appearance in this manner is subject to interpretation. In this video, we'll be primarily focusing on Michael's presence in the Bible, as this is a Biblical Stories Explained series. But I will be touching on stories and letters originating from both Jewish and Islamic texts to give you an unbiased and hopefully more complete picture of who Archangel Michael really is, as well as what he means to people today. He is considered to be the biblical God's finest champion, a being so powerful that he is able to banish Lucifer from heaven by himself without direct intervention from God. His name, which means he who is as God, is usually considered to be an angel of protection and perhaps the most powerful of all of God's angels. It goes without saying that as the most powerful, Michael is the leader in the realm of angels, and serves as a warrior to defeat the forces of evil in all of their forms. But did you know that Archangel Michael is only mentioned a total of six times in the Bible? He is mentioned three times in the Old Testament, in the book of Daniel, where he is merely mentioned by another unknown entity, and later on again in the New Testament, battle with Lucifer and the other fallen angels. He's also seen in the epistle of Jude in a debate with Satan and is a 